It looks like the battle line has been drawn between Oprah and Cat Williams because Oprah is now threatening to ruin Cat's life after he embarrassed and exposed her as a handler for the Hollywood elites. But y'all know that Cat has never backed down from a fight, and he is now fighting back at Oprah and threatening to release more tea on her and take her down completely. Y'all stick around till the end of this video, cuz it's about to get real. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. Okay, so it looks like Oprah is sick and tired of people trying to drag her, and she has finally decided to speak up and stand up for herself against the accusations, and she decided to go after none other than Cat Williams. Oprah has been in the news these past couple of weeks after Taraji started a conversation about her and how she doesn't look out for black women in the industry, like she pretends to. Now, for a very long time, Oprah has been said to be something of a champion for black rights in Hollywood, as well as a philanthropist, but Cat Williams is now coming out to prove that not only is Oprah not the good person we think she is, but she is way worse than we could ever imagine. But get this, it goes way beyond Taraji because according to Cat Williams, Oprah has been playing in our faces for the longest time. Cat claimed that Oprah has been used by the higher-ups in Hollywood to keep black artists in line and keep them dancing to their tune. He pointed out how Oprah has been putting down her fellow black artists for years, pointing out how she did Ludacris dirty and have him looking stupid when he went on her show to promote the movie Crash back in the days where Oprah's show was where all black artists went to promote their new movies, music, and whatever they had going on. But sometimes Oprah would suddenly switch up and decide to make some of the artists look bad, and that's what she did to Ludacris. During the interview, Oprah decided to shift course from talking about the movie to Ludacris' role in that movie, and she decided to start pressing him about his music and why he used the N-word in his music even though the interview had nothing to do with his music. Ludacris definitely wasn't feeling it, and he called her out on the radio interview, and this is what he had to say. I was there for Crash the Movie, and basically she said something about not agreeing with my music, but she thought I did great in the movie. I was up there with the whole cast of Crash and so I didn't necessarily feel like that needed to be said. But that's not all because when Ludacris' interview with Oprah aired on her show, she went on to edit and cut out certain parts of Ludacris' response to her questions to make him look bad. And Ludacris' response to that was, she was able to say what she said, and then I had my rebuttal. Now according to Kat, what we're seeing is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to her using her platform for all the wrong reasons, and he didn't hold back throwing some major shade her way for the way she tried to destroy Michael Jackson's legacy. Now, let's rewind to 1993 when Michael Jackson, the king of pop, granted Oprah a rare interview at his Neverland Ranch. Now that's a big deal because we all know how guarding MJ was about his private life. The exclusive sit-down catapulted Oprah's fame even higher not just in the U.S., but globally and for years after this, she claimed to be MJ's friend, but here's where it takes a turn. Fast forward to Michael's passing, and Oprah did a complete switcher rope. She hopped on the controversy train surrounding the Leaving Neverland documentary, putting MJ in a not-so-flattering light. She took it up a notch by dedicating an entire segment to interviewing MJ's former accusers, Wade Robson and James Safechuck. Now that move alone stirred up a ton of controversy because both Wade and James had backtracked on their earlier claims, swearing under oath that MJ didn't S.I. them, like they initially accused him of. So, what was Oprah doing when she was giving these guys a platform to reopen the whole Michael Jackson case? It felt like she was trying to throw shade on MJ's legacy by getting people to talk about it all over again. She tried to defend herself when she claimed that she was just shedding light on the widespread pattern of a say in the industry. But here's where it gets very interesting. It's a bit rich coming from Oprah, especially when you consider her ties to other individuals in the industry, accused of SA like Harvey Weinstein and even Jeffrey Epstein. These Steens have been crazy for years, but anyway, she was close friends with both of them. Now rumor has it that she might have even known about their questionable activities before the whole expose blew up. It's definitely the pot calling the kettle black, right? Yes. 
Oprah, the advocate for awareness, having some deep connections within individuals involved in very issues that she claims to be shedding light on, sounds hypocrite. But then a lot of people have actually spoken up about this, like the time British actress Kate and Noble exposed Oprah and Naomi Campbell for helping Harvey Weinstein trick her and essay her. This is what she had to say. He was with people in which I admired dearly. He was with Naomi Campbell. He had Oprah Winfrey there with him who entered the room and was swinging off his arm and just seemed like a very dear friend. According to Kat, Oprah didn't have a problem with essay per se because she didn't seem to mind very much when it was her friends doing the essay. Kat also pointed out how Oprah has been linked to other men who have been accused of inappropriate behaviors. Let's take a little stroll down memory lane, shall we? Remember when Oprah was all about this Brazilian guy who called himself John of God? God, claiming to be a spiritual healer. But Oprah didn't just talk the talk, she hopped on a plane to Brazil to meet him, and she was so thrilled about the whole thing that she even brought him on her show. And this is where it gets absolutely crazy. Oprah stayed connected to the John of God for a good couple of years, but then, bam, the guy gets exposed for some seriously messed up stuff and human trafficking. Turns out he had women chained up against their will, forcibly impregnated them, made them have babies, and then sold the babies for profit for their organs. I mean, that's next level disturbing, and since Oprah was all linked up to this guy, of course, she got dragged into that mess. But Oprah played it cool like it never happened. No apology, no explanations, and all she did was hit the delete button on the videos that were drawn from her page, and that was that. No official statement from her, no distancing herself from the scandal, it was like we was in a twilight zone, like we didn't see what we had saw, like John never existed in Oprah's world, and if you're scratching your head, wondering why this wasn't plastered all over the US media, well Kat claims that Oprah's got some powerful friends to thank for keeping that stuff on the low. Now remember how we said that Oprah is such a great philanthropist and that she opened a school for girls in South Africa. Well, it didn't take long for the school to be dragged into some more concerning controversy. One of the school matrons was arrested on a stay charge for being inappropriate with the female students, which is absolutely sad. Saber Seal also hinted that Oprah was lying about not knowing of Harvey Weinstein's crimes. He made a post on Instagram saying, Oh, I forgot that's right. You'd heard rumors, but you had no idea he was actually seriously S.A. young star-eyed actresses, who in turn had no idea what they were getting into, my bad. But the interesting thing about this is that suddenly still faced battery charges only five days after calling Oprah out. The charges, of course, were dropped after a few days, but the interesting thing here is that an inside source revealed that Seal's accuser reported the singer to police in Los Angeles after she noticed that he he had accused Oprah Winfrey of knowing about Harvey Weinstein's offenses in a damning Instagram post. Well, according to Kat, this was not a simple coincidence because Oprah attempted to take Seal out, land him in jail even though he was innocent of all the allegations that she brought against him. But that didn't matter to Oprah, she just wanted her lick back at all cost, even if it meant getting an innocent black man in trouble. Now, all this happened a while ago, and the rumors of Oprah being a handler just kind of died down after that, until Taranji's revelations a few weeks ago. Taranji went full on truth bomb, admitted she was sick and tired of being shortchanged, getting anything but what she rightfully deserved, but she wasn't just talking, she was ready to walk it. In fair, she dropped the bomb when she almost walked away from the Oprah movie Color Purple because the offer that Oprah made was just too low and frankly insulting. This is what Taraji had to say. I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary and almost had to walk away from Color Purple because, you know, if I don't take a stand, how am I making it? Easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Holly and Felicia, then why am I doing this? She also went on Gil King's show, and she was so upset that it drove her to tears. However, fans weren't exactly thrilled with Gail's interview tactics. They felt like she tiptoed around the real issues that Reggie fired up on because she's very close friends with Oprah. See, Gail's been vocal about how Oprah gave her a career boost, and they're basically besties. While fans had this theory that Gail held back on pushing Taraji because she knew the real talk might shine a not-so-flattering light on Oprah.
But here's the kicker. Turns out Gail's protective moves weren't needed. The internet exploded with folks coming for Oprah digging up her not-so-great track record of treating black women in the industry. Well, this is where Cat Williams stepped in and threw some major shade on Oprah, accusing her of trying to handle Taraji and keep her down. Cat also had some specific words for Oprah, hinting that he had dirt on her and that he would take her down. Well, according to an insider, Oprah is not here for Kat speaking on her like that, and she has allegedly been making plans to ruin Kat before he spills more on her. The insider claims that Oprah is furious at Kat and has been making threats at him trying to get him to recant his statement. But if y'all know Kat, then you know this is never going to happen. While fans have left comments on this saying Oprah is somehow always associated with serial essayers and pedophiles, a very dangerous and evil woman. Oprah is a groomer and a handler. Look back into her school in Africa. Look who she has hung out with her whole life, sex predators. Oprah sold her soul to get what she has, and I don't know how Oprah still ain't got her ass lit up in the media. She evil as hell. Y'all fans are not here for Oprah, and it looks like Kat is untouchable to her because he has the backing of the people of the streets. We have come to the end of this amazing video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more interesting